Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel. What's up, friends? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, yeah, I'm talking to all of y'all out there that come to the channel and want to sit down and uh, have me entertain you or you get my news and you agree with me and argue with me. And that's all that is. I, I don't care. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But you know what? Like, comment, and subscribe to my videos, okay, once you watch them. And also hit that notification bell button. So you'll know when I am letting go of a hot, juicy story. And of course, don't forget to share, comment, leave me your video interest of, you know, what was going on. And you need to have a little more dialogue with me. You know, be very quick and specific and like my videos and I'll gun it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and tell other people about me. Well, honey, I went over to Media Takeout News Sector today. We took a little stroll around the park, you know, because I need that little exercise and all that. Have all this is playing in my mind, of course, you know. But anyway, that's the story I'm telling. I'm sticking with it. Chai, they told me Nene and Kenya Moore was at a baby shower. Now, I did hear last week or maybe a week before that, Eva was having like early labor pains. And it's not quite time for the baby to come. So I guess they gave her what is it, Pitocin they give you to stop the labor pains, or is that to increase the labor pains? Shit, I don't know, I forgot. But anyway, they might have gave her some medication and told her to stay off her feet and, you know, do as as less moving around as she possibly can. She better be glad they didn't get her bed rest, but this is what it is. She had to have her baby shower, you know, get those free gifts and all that free promotion. All right, but anyway, child. The informant at a media takeout told me, Nene got them hands together, balled them up. It was open, open hand, and she balled them up to a fish like she's ready to take a one-two jump. Uh, how you call it? One-two, uh, what is it? One-two double uppercut punch or whatever. But hell, I just said punch the lights out or, or try to anyway. Yes, they said Nene was charging at Kenya, and Marlo had to pull her back. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hmm. Do we really want, Nene must have got no money to get out of jail or something. Maybe she didn't want that assault charge. I have no idea. But thank God to have Marlo there. Okay, because it seemed like the other housewives that were in attendance, they wanted to see that just let loose. Okay, they weren't trying to stop Nene. They wanted her to get in trouble. But see, that's why you have a good trusted friend by your side. When you just lose that little sense that you think you got, somebody's there just like, okay, she don't know what she's doing. She ain't got no bail money like that. Let me get this girl. <laughs> and I'm one of them kind of friends. I am. I am. I don't want to see nobody. Why you ain't thinking? I'm thinking for you. You can have that money going to another event or buy you some more clothes, take a trip, whatever. We ain't got time for you to go to no booking place. And I ain't talking about no travel agency. I'm talking about the law, the man, the popo. Going down there with them single sales and stuff. I'm talking about getting turn right, turn left. Uh, put your imp imprint here, here. Put it there. Put it there. Uh -uh, we ain't got time. We ain't got time to be taking no mug shots at the popo office. Okay. So I was very glad to hear that um, Marla was there to stop the charging bull from attacking her target, which was Kenya Moore. But if you keep going on into this video, I'm going to tell you <laughs> what made Nene go to charging Miss Kenya, okay? And I'm telling you, I need my besties, honey. I need my ride or dies, my Sheila P to come and Val W to come, okay? And Infinity 13 to show up at my doorstep and lend me some understanding on what's going on. <laughs> what's going on with y'all, twirl, twirl? Her. Don't she know she can't keep doing this? And y'all said she had a baby. She was growing up. She was going into her own uh, phase of being a beautiful person. But yet she's still verbally accosting folks out there. I'm like, come on now. And, and what she was doing was just foul. Totally foul. So I'm going to need my three girls to come up in here and tell me their opinions on this issue. Because it was just foul. <laughs> I'm like, flag on play. You know we don't go like that. We do not roll like that. Especially when this person had an illness. 
Okay, and they of age, we don't do that. We don't do that. It's like we don't pick on kids. We, we don't bring up kids, even though they might be foul or crazy stuff out there. But they're children. They're children, okay? But let's get on into the story, okay? Enough anticipation, enough anticipation, because I had to read it without y'all. <laughs> when, I, when I heard bows, throwing them bows, putting them hands together, wanting to make connection, Child, please. I had to hurry and read that storyline. But anyway, it goes like this. It was from a media takeout staff member. They don't give out names over there, okay? And it is from the media takeout outlet. Now, I'm saying they don't got better with their reporting. So, we ain't going to say this is an if-if. Because they don't want to get sued. They don't want to get into litigation. You know what I'm saying? Shut them all down. Here. What we going to do? What we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about our Monday lives that we come and go make money here and there paying bills. You know, some of us get to take trips three times a year. You know, some of them like me, it's just one time a year. You know, so we need some entertainment of mindless drama. You okay? That's all. Just a little bit to kiki, ha ha, about and going about our business and wish them well. You know, because like I said, it's TV. They're giving us scripts here. Some of it may be true, but a lot of it is false, okay? Same with my commentary. So don't take it all as the grain of salt, like the Holy Grail, okay? Use your own discernment. Decipher the bullshit. And then come up with your own opinion, okay? But moving on, we have an article titled of Nene and Kenya Fight at Atlanta Housewives Eva's Marcel's Baby Shower, okay? It was put out today. Shout out. Hope y'all had a great work day. Or vacation day, or just every normal day if you're retired, or if you're not working or whatever. Happy Monday to you too. Okay. When we go on to the article, it says Eva Marcel from Bravo's Atlanta Housewives had her baby shower this weekend, and it was full of fun and drama. And many of takeout news learned that during the event, Kenya Moore and Nene Lee's got into a fight, y'all. Got into a fight, but I think it was verbal. It's not a physical fight. It could have been, but Marlo saved the day. One up on that best friend. Okay, one up on that best friend. That's why she be hanging around uh, Marlo all the time. Marlo keep her out of crap, okay? Keep her out of the popo office and, and the, uh, what do you call them folk? The police cars, the paddy wagon. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Then it says, first of all, well, first off, all the Atlanta housewives showed up, including Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore. Both ladies had been feuding with Eva this season, but they put aside their differences to attend the event. Of course, you can't be fighting with no pregnant woman. That's a fair unadvantage, you, you know, y'all giving to her. She can't whop y'all upside the head, and y'all can't hit her back, in a sense, because she's carrying her, her baby. So, okay, yes, all uh, fights have to be resolved after the baby comes, and you have that six weeks uh, recovery reprieve, okay? Then y'all get back to throwing hands or whatever y'all want to do because you're going to jail if you throw them hands and it make contact. Okay, you could swing at the air all day long, but just don't make contact, all right? But anyway, moving forward, it says, but it wasn't any in Kenya's beef with Eva that was the problem. It was their beef with each other, okay? Can they not stay in the same room? Can they not stay in the same room? I'm like, they have to like kids. Like, okay, time out for you. One of y'all go to the corner and one of y'all go over there uh, to the next door neighbor uh, classroom because I, I can't deal with y'all. Y'all need to be in separate areas for now. We don't come like that and they grow on his head. I don't understand. But moving back on, the article it says, first of all, we had to say that the event was lovely. I'm sure it was. Okay. Eva had a sunflower theme. And all ladies were told to wear the color yellow and sunflowers to the event. I tell you, if we were back in the 70s, Eva would fit right up in there with them flower child people, okay? Free, free, free. Everything free. Sex is free. Food is free. Partying is free. I just see her right on up there in the mystery van. You know what I'm saying? With Scooby-Doo, you know what I'm Mr. Van, Mr. Machine, whatever it was called. <laughs> I can see her right up on in there. Okay, moving on back to the article, of course. It says everyone complied itself for candy. Candy birds. Okay, she showed up in a white t-shirt and a pair of dirty jeans. What? Are you kidding me? Now, I'm, I'm going to say they just uh, fudged this story because I ain't never seen Candy come up looking like a hot mess. You know what I'm saying? She always be clean, kept together, have her own fashion sense, of course. I don't agree with it, but, you know, whatever floats her boat, she pays her money. She dress how she want to dress, okay? As long as she don't come in her birthday suit. I want to see that. All right. But, uh, yeah, they just said she came up and now. With a, maybe she was doing some gardening or something. I don't know. Maybe she fell outside. Who knows? Okay, but y'all could have gave her some clean clothes. I don't understand. 
Okay, we're well, giving back to the article. It says now until now on to the drama. According to a person in production, okay, Nini and Kenya Moore got into what is being described as a fight at the event. Okay, everybody love to drop their tea, but they want to get paid for it as well. Okay, then it's good. It's kind of good to keep it relevant, keep them relevant in the streets. So when we do hit. It's time for the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 to start. I think it's in November. We be ready. We be ready for it. We don't be wanting no uh, bland stuff. We want all our meat and potatoes and dessert on top of that. Okay. And then a good drink of beverage to wash it down with. We're going back to the article. It says the producers or the producer explained to media takeout news. The two started arguing and Nene charged Kenya like a runaway buffalo. A runaway buffalo. I, I said, boy, they went a little heavier. They said a buffalo. Now, a buffalo is a pretty big old fella. It's almost like an elephant trying to charge you. But elephants don't usually charge. They get scared and they run. But them buffalo, yeah, they be ready to whoop your behind. But anyway, like a herd trying to run and attack her like a buffalo, they said. Yeah. And then we got Marlo. Marlo held her back. Or Nene would have dragged Kenya worse than Portia did. Okay. Yeah, Portia didn't really drag Kenya. She just had a good hold on that head of hers. Maybe her head was moving, but you know, I don't think she was really pulling her. Because Kenya got a little weight on her. And, you know, hell, Portia got a little weight on her, a little drunk in the trunk, too. So, it was a fair fight. It, it really was a fair fight. But, uh, Portia just didn't want to let go of that hair. So, okay. We got that straight now. At least, hell, that's how I remember it. But anyway, it goes back to the article. It says, you'll recall that Portia Williams, another Atlanta housewife, dragged Kenya across the stage by her weave three years ago at the season eight reunion show. So what caused the fight? Production explained, Kenya made a comment about Nene's husband, Greg. <laughs> I'm like, why y'all won't let Greg, that senior citizen, a cancer-free man, live his life? Why y'all? him alone. That's just like messing with a little child, a little infant. Now, Kenya, what did you do? What did you say, girl? Now, you know that was foul. That was foul, 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 total foul. You, and you used to run up and, and hug Greg all the time. And whatever misdeeds or misunderstandings or dislikes you have for his wife, Nene Leaks, okay? And they're all probably warranted. <laughs> You don't vote take it out on Greg. You know Greg ain't got that energy. He don't need that kind of press. Press, press, press. Greg don't need no press. Greg Beeks don't need no press. Just like Carter B said, no more press. All right. So I'm ashamed. I want to hear from my Sheila and my infinite, infinity 13 and Val Williams. I want y'all to come and understand. Make me understand why can you put a target on Greg's back? Why? And now all of this is allegedly, we don't know. Okay, like I said, it's going to continue to unravel and the truth is going to come out of the dark. And yes, it is. But what they got going on now is Kenya tried to talk about Greg Leaves. Now, you know, we don't do that. We don't talk about the OGs like that. Now, Greg was the most sensible, well thought out gentleman who always was a gentleman whenever they displayed him or even, even on the reunions and stuff. He was very plush and polished. Okay. Can't say nothing wrong about Greg. Okay, now you can get on Todd. You can get on Peter. Uh, who else we have? You can definitely get on Apollo. Uh, I think that was it. Other guys, right? I'm missing anybody. But yeah, but Greg was the one and the very one distinguished one. Okay, he didn't get down and throw tomatoes in the street with the rest of the peasants. He did. He said, "I'm a king. I'm a king. I don't do that." Hell, I'm too old to even been like that anyway. But I, I, it's, it's beneath me. I am too old, too well reserved, and I'm retired. I can't be doing all that fussing and, 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 and throwing up the bowls. Uh uh, you might break something. And then I had to sit in recovery for a couple of months or hell years. I don't know. Because we don't know how great body put together. We don't. We seriously don't. But anyway, yeah. So I want my folks to come on up in here and explain this situation to me because this was what's told on the streets now. And they put it in publication for me to talk about. But going back to the article, it says Greg is still recovering from colon cancer. See, that's what I'm talking about. I know he is in remission. Okay, why why are we gonna pick on Greg? We don't need to be picking on Greg. I don't care how things fall down around Nene, whatever Nene do out in the streets, I don't care. Greg is like a baby, infant. You know, you, you leave him alone. He's sending he's senior citizens. Uh, a poster for senior citizen. Okay, retirement. Don't make with Greg. Don't make with Greg at least. Okay. And then they give us some pictures of the event. You got Marlo. She kind of looking like a, a, I don't know. I don't know what she got. She, it's like she's trying to go to the beach and then she's trying to go to bed. I don't know. She looked like a street walker. But, you know, it, it just is what it is. Just my first glad, my glance. If I can find a picture, uh, I'll try to put it in there. 
And you got pretty Eva. She's posing like she's in her garden. And she could have some of the biggest looking babies. And you know, they don't come out that big when she have them. But she, I better just be so big. But then she shrank back real uh, good. So her elasticity is good. Her belly elasticity is good. Then you got, um, <sighs> he got Cynthia. Yes, she got her little flower child thing going on. She probably go back to that age in the 70s too and hang out smoking weed all day and just having sex everywhere. I don't know. That's what she's giving me. But she's in a long kimono. Hell, it look like they need to be in swimsuits. Because I don't understand what all this uh trying to be like J Lo or something. I don't I don't know what they give they're giving me, especially Cynthia. But anyway, uh she trying to stay in that fashion bowl type looking, but I, I don't know where she's going. I don't know if she got a, a swimsuit under there. I, I just don't know. But like I said, I'll try to find some pictures for you. But if not, you can always go to Eva Marcel's uh, Instagram account. And I'm sure she'll still have those lovely pictures up there. Uh, but she definitely is looking lovely. Okay, and it shows some more pictures. Then you have a picture of Marlo kissing Nene. Okay, on the cheek. Okay, I guess you're trying to say, calm down, bitch. Calm down, okay? Before you be behind them cell, lock cell, pallet doors. You know you can't. You can break down all you want to, but ain't nobody going to get you, okay? Unless we put you in a Lulu bin. But you get sedated for a while, and about to ask you what, what was going on in your mind when you felt that you need to trample and, and mow down, uh, physically mow down, make contact with your arch nemesis, Kenya Moore, Okay? But like I said, that's all they had on this story. I'm sure it's gonna unfold a pretty, you know, pretty more. I'll update you uh, as it comes in to me, uh, and maybe they saving this somewhat for the reunion because, like I said, it doesn't start until November sometime, I believe. And they can have, add this in, and then probably, probably, you know, how they do put it towards the end of the season where we will get to see these little prolific type sensational pictures and photos and stuff and, and, and coverage of course that's all i had for this uh wonderful uh story of an article brought out on nini leaks and kenya moore almost trying to throw blows with one another all right but uh yeah that's all i had guys y'all get down in the comments tell me what y'all thought about it uh was uh can you wrong because like i said we don't have all the information in we don't have all of it in but it was told that she made a little slick comment or, or, or a suggestion about greg that wasn't flattering that wasn't flattering at all it wasn't it wasn't good to the palate it wasn't tasteful so we're gonna have to put a flag on that play on kenya okay until we can um ascertain what really went down Okay, but I'm sure they're going to get it to us. They're going to get it to us. And then you're going to be on her Instagram account, more than likely, or her Twitter account, talking sideways. So we'll get it as the week unfolds, I'm pretty sure. But okay, y'all, subscribe to me. Tell people about me. Tell them to come over here. Check out my videos, okay? Because I try to keep it quite entertaining for y'all. You know what I'm saying? You never know what's going to come out of my mouth, just depending on what article I'm talking about, okay? But thank you for coming. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, comments, you know, I get back with you whenever I can, okay? You're talking nonsense, you know, I tell you, you know, you pretty much, I don't want to talk about this no more. <laughs> go on now, go on about your business. Let's wait for next, you know, video I put out and we can say about something else. But it is, is what it is. I enjoy your comments. I like uh, interacting with you all. Thank you for coming each time to my channel. Make sure you continue to like comment subscribe and share my videos but you know you like it i like it when you subscribe you subscribe you subscribe yes 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 and you like 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 i love it when you subscribe subscribe okay thank you good night bye